Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Sandy. I need this this morning. Here are some words you don't hear from me very often. I was out partying last night. Woohoo! Seriously, went to a birthday party. Stayed out really late. Did not get much sleep, but here I am. You know why? Because I said I'd be here. Where are you? Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. People are starting to pop in out. Good thing. I was going to say, come on, don't, don't make me lose my morning sleep and then not show. Hey, starter fluid. Mm, good stuff. So this is your trivia fact for today. You ready? Today begins the second half of the year. It's the first day of the second half of the year. Seriously, if you look at it, there are 182 days that preceded today and 182 days that will follow today for a total of 2, 364, and today is the, the 365, 365 days in a year. Yeah, 182 there, 182 here. Bam, we are in the middle. Okay. Congratulations. You made it halfway through the year already. And at this time last year, we weren't sure there was going to be another year, were we? Lucky to be here for those of us who are. And my love and condolences to those of us who are still suffering the effects of COVID. And by the way, don't, don't make that small. It's huge. Um, I lost a friend to COVID two days ago. Well, actually, she died uh, six days ago, but I just found out about it a few days ago. And and not only that, people are still suffering the effects of whatever happened to them when they got COVID. So be understanding. Yeah. And if you're one of the lucky ones, yay on you. What have we got here? <laughs> Good morning, Indy. Yes. My hair is still curled. So I learned how to, I have really, really straight hair, really straight hair. I know it doesn't look like it right now, though, does it? No. Yeah, I woke up like this. I'm sorry. I didn't do my hair this morning. But here's the thing. What I found out is after I wash my hair, I let it dry like 95%. And then I, not on turbo, because I don't want to burn the hair, but I, I use some, some setting stuff from Fido that's like really good for your hair. And then I just curl the ends. And while I curl one to get it out of the way, I put it up in a roller until I curl all of it. And then I pull the rollers out. You know, it takes like 10 minutes. And look at this. I slept on it and I still have curls and I'll probably still have curls tomorrow if I don't play tennis too hard today, which I probably will do. But for a day or two, I have curls. Yay. So this party last night, it was a birthday party for the adorable Miss Ms. Alice Jones. Went to the home of Alice and her husband, Lee, up in uh, Flamingo Heights. Yeah, that's what it is. Flamingo Heights, which is out by Joshua Tree. Can we just talk about what it's like to be out in the desert on a summer night when the sun went down and before we left, we took a minute just to like stand in the middle of the desert and look up at the Milky Way. When is the last time you actually saw the Milky Way? Picking out constellations and looking at that, just the vastness of it just completely choked me up. And the party was a lot of fun. I met lots of people because going in, I knew Indy. That was it. And going out, I had like dozens of new friends. It was awesome. The last, I would say, 45 minutes or hour of the evening was a jam. The people who were at this party were artists of some kind, all of them. All of them, even if they didn't refer to themselves that way. But there were a huge number of guitar players and there was an accordion player. 
She was amazing. People using their vocal cords. There were a lot of actual, um, well, the place had its own recording studio. I mean, these people are like musical. I can't play an instrument, but I can certainly enjoy one. And it was great. Indy played. He was awesome. But wait, there's more about, about that. Can we talk about that? You know I've talked about Indy making ice cream in the past. Okay, well, yesterday was like, are you kidding me right now? The birthday girl had posted that she liked chocolate cake with caramel. So Indy surprised her by making this enormous cake, an ice cream cake. It had a layer of chocolate cake, then a layer about this thick of his new special homemade caramel cashew ice cream. Yeah, caramel ice cream with big yummy cashews inside. Then another layer of chocolate cake covered by a thin layer of chocolate ganache. And two days ago, she posted that when she was a little girl, her mommy used to make her this um, peanut butter frosting, peanut butter whipped cream frosting. So Indy figured out how to make peanut butter whipped cream frosting and put that on top of the rest of it. The cake was unbelievable to look at, but it was gone in minutes. As soon as it was cut, it was gone. It was, mm. here's to you. My hair is curled, but your ice cream rocked. Okay. Today is, you're going to love this one. It's I forgot day. Yeah. And if you're over 55, chances are that's every day, but today is especially, <gasps> Marlene, you made it. Yay. Sparkle, baby. Um, so yesterday was tell a joke day. I totally forgot to share my jokes with you. And this morning I am going to share my jokes with you. You may borrow any of them because I didn't make them up. I just kind of like them. I'm going to give you a few. I entered a pun contest. Yes, I submitted 10 of my best puns to see if any would win. Yeah, however, no pun intended. No pun intended. I know you get that, right? Um, I found a pencil that has two erasers. Yeah, two erasers. It's totally pointless. Ah. Uh, oh, thank you. I needed that. I needed that. I did. Two hunters are out in the woods when one of them collapses. He's not breathing and his eyes are glazed over. And the other guy whips out his cell phone and he dials 911. I think my friend is dead, he yells. What can I do? And the operator says, calm down. First, let's make sure he's dead. Then there's a silence, then a shot. Back on the phone, the guy says, okay, now what? I'm sorry, that is so sick, right? Um, okay, how about one with a priest, a minister, and a rabbi? Yeah, that should be good today. Um, a priest, a minister, and a rabbi decided they all wanted to see who was best at their job. So they go into the woods, and they find a bear, and they attempt to convert him. And then later, they get together to talk about how successful they were. So the priest begins. He says, well, I found the bear. I read to him from the catechism and I sprinkled him with holy water. And next week is his first communion. Pretty impressive. Well, I found a bear by the stream, says the minister. And I preached God's holy word. And the bear was so mesmerized that next week he's going to let me baptize him. Wow, that's impressive. Then they both look down at the rabbi who's laying on a gurney in a body cast. Looking back, he says, maybe I shouldn't have started with the circumcision. But I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done. I have two more. Right, this one's an old one, but come on, it's still awesome. A guy spots a sign outside a house that reads, talking dog for sale. Intrigued, he walks in. 
So what have you done with your life? He asks the dog. Well, says the dog, I've led a very full life. I lived in the Alps rescuing avalanche victims. Then I served my country in Iraq. And now I spend my days reading to the residents of a retirement home. The guy is flabbergasted, like totally blown away. And he says to the dog's owner, why on earth would you want to get rid of an incredible dog like this? And the owner says, because he's a liar. He never did any of those things. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. All right, I saved the best one for last. And I saved this one for last, and I'm calling it the best because it's so Palm Springs, Palm Desert. It is absolutely, it is absolutely the desert for me. Okay, here we go. In surgery for a heart attack, a middle-aged woman has a vision of God by her bedside. Will I die, she asks. And God says, no, you have 30 more years to live. Well, with 30 more years to look forward to, she decides to make the best of it. So since she's in the hospital, she gets breast implants, liposuction, a tummy tuck, hair transplants, collagen injections into her lips. She looks great. And on the day she's discharged, she exits the hospital with a swagger. She crosses the street, is immediately hit by an ambulance and killed. Oh, it's not funny yet, is it? No, because up in heaven, she sees God and she goes over to him and she's really angry. And she says, you said I had 30 more years to live. Well, that's true, said God. So what happened? She asks. God shrugs and says, I didn't recognize you. That's Palm Springs. Sorry, it just is. Mm. Okay. Um, yes, International Joke Day. Thank you. It's also World UFO Day. Have you ever seen a UFO? I mean, that's like a big deal right now. They're really looking into it, right? I had one sighting, not like of a... Um, I didn't ever see any aliens that I knew were aliens, but I was in this kind of area driving through and there were no houses around anywhere, no lights of any kind. And suddenly right in front of us, but up in the sky, there's this big saucer shaped thing, really bright and flashing and stood, it, it like came down, not like down where we were, but you know, like, like a low, very, very low plane and just hovered for a while and then took off. I have no idea what it was. I have no idea. We were totally freaked out. And up until this moment, I've barely spoken of it at all because I have no explanation for it to this day. I, I, I don't know. Happy UFO day. It's also wrong trousers day. Who was that? Um, somebody in Gromit, um, the cartoon. Anyway, the whole idea is it's a, a day to raise money for for kids with physical problems, for um, sick kids. And you wear crazy pants, as crazy as you can. And then you get fined in England. They fine you a pound for wearing crazy pants. And that is how they raise money for their charity. I think it's cute. Um, happy birthday to Larry David. Happy birthday to Lindsay Lohan. I know she turned out to be, I mean, I don't know what she's like now, but I know she was like a mega flake, but I'm sorry. When she did the remake of the, what's the movie with the twins? Anybody, anybody, you know, when she played both twins, it was such a cute movie. She was so awesome when she was a little kid and then she got older and she got kind of, you know, mm. anyway, happy birthday. I hope you got your life straightened out. Lindsay Lohan, you got, too much fame too fast, I think. Okay. You can look this up at Parent Trap. Thank you. Oh, Marlene, thank you. I was like, yeah, I had a little brain fart. 
Parent Trap, not the original Parent Trap with Haley Mills, but the remake of Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. I actually liked it better. I did. She was so adorable. Um, okay, this is weird. All right, first, happy birthday, Imelda Marcos. I mean, seriously, I know she was a criminal. I know she was, you know, like the people in the Philippines didn't exactly love her. She was the dictator's wife, and she herself was convicted of many crimes. But the woman had 3,000 pairs of shoes. 3,000. I mean, come on. Your closet looks crowded if it's got 20 pairs of shoes. A dozen. How many pairs of shoes do you have? I'm going to go count. I I know. I mean, I live in the desert. I wear sandals every day, right? Flip-flops and sandals. But I have shoes, but not 3,000 pairs. Um, okay, this is what I wanted to tell you about. In 1843, where did it happen? In Charleston, South Carolina, during a rainstorm, I read the news article. It was in the newspaper. An alligator fell from the sky. I, I, I didn't write it. I just read it and I shared it with you. That's it. Yeah. Charlton, South, Charleston, South Carolina, 1843. An alligator falls from the sky during a rainstorm. Just saying. Okay, moving right along. Fiddler on the Roof closed after 3,242 performances. What a musical. Woo. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Sunrise, sunset. Do you love me? Do I what? Do you love me? Oh, that was my favorite song, I think. Yeah. I know there's classics out of that show, but I love Do You Love Me. Um, okay, serious for a minute. In 1896, the Nobel Peace Prize went to Elie Wiesel. Elie Wiesel was a Holocaust survivor. He survived the camps. Writer extraordinaire. I wanted to share some quotes from him. <laughs> I picked up the jokes again. This was no joke. This guy came out of concentration camps and shared himself with the most amazing attitude. Here are a few things that Elie Wiesel said. We must take sides, always. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. Take sides. He said this, and I've heard this over and over and over. The opposite of love is not hate. It's indifference. Think about There may be times when we are powerless to prevent injustice, but there must never be a time when we fail to protest it. Peace is our gift to each other. I like this. God made man because he loves stories. Some stories are true that never happened. <sighs> Ellie Wiesel, here's to you. We remember you. Um, let's see. Susan B. Anthony Dollar, she was a suffragette. It was, uh, I think she was the first woman to be put on uh, U.S. coin, was uh, first issued today in 1979. I remember collecting them thinking they were going to be worth a lot of money, but it didn't happen. In 1962, Sam Walton opened the first Walmart in Rogers, Arkansas, and the rest is history because now Walmart has taken over the world. Woohoo! Um, 
we said goodbye to Jimmy Stewart on this day in 1997. Um, Jimmy Stewart, what an, what a, he was like the regular guy, you know, he was like the every man in the movies. He was, wasn't he? Um, and, you know, I used to do television, not as an actress, as a personality, right? But I was Sandy Stewart. Had nothing to do with him, by the way. But that was my stage name, Sandy Stewart. Yeah. Okay, I really, I made myself Sandy Stewart because when I went by my real name, I got stalkers and it was scary. So I changed it to Sandy Stewart. Nobody ever found me, except there was a singer in the early 60s, late 50s, Sandy Stewart. She did that song about da 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 color me blue. I don't know. Anyway, um, apparently she was good friends with Soupy Sales. You know, Soupy Sales. Okay. So I was doing a show and Soupy Sales was a guest star on the show. And he heard that Sandy Stewart was in the family fun store. So he came over to me and looked at me and said, wow, you look terrific. What did you do? I mean, you look so young. And I said, um, uh, uh, anyway, that's when we found out that I wasn't his Sandy Stewart. No, I was another Sandy Stewart. Okay, finally, Larry Walters in 1982 sat in a lawn chair, tied 42 big weather type balloons to his lawn chair and he traveled over 16,000 feet up on a lawn chair with big balloons. I used to be in the balloon industry and I carried a lot of balloons. I don't believe I ever got lifted off the ground by them. That's a lot of balloons. And finally, the word art for this morning. Today's word art is finish what you start. Pretty simple, right? Finish what you start. So some of you may be saying easier said than done. Most things are. Let me give you a couple of easy little hints to help you finish what you start. Well, first of all, the first thing I would say is don't start if you don't really intend to finish. That would be number one. Choose your projects carefully. That's number one. Commit. No, no, really Commit, because you know when you're committed to something, it happens no matter what. That's what commitment is. No matter what, it happens. Stop being such a perfectionist. It doesn't all have to look a certain way in order for it to be good. Um... Give yourself credit. Give yourself credit every step of the way. And then when you do finish, celebrate. Celebrations are awesome. And it encourages you to do it again. Yeah. And speaking of doing it again, I got to go get dressed, wake myself up, and get out on the tennis court and do it again. I got my starter fluid. You've got yours. I've got a sip. And a smile. And now I have peace and sparkles because Marlene is here. I'm so happy to see you here. And you guys have a phenomenal Friday. Let the weekend begin. Party on, my friends. Bye-bye.